They're not even gonna listen to us. All right, so that was uh, that was it. That was Square Enix. Um, hope you guys had a good time. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> well, yeah, that was, that was so, short and sweet. Yo. That was so. Like, I I feel like they blew their load early, just like yeah. everyone else. Like last, like yesterday, we got Bethesda. And Rage was definitely the best part of that show. And they didn't do no talking in this one, which I love. Yeah, no talking <laughs> in this one, which was good. And right away, the first one, though, like, they showed us so much of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and we were blown away we loved it. by the gameplay on that one. And I was even, like, calling us, like, this looks, is she going to assassinate? Yes. <laughs> like, and they look great. And then uh, they ran out of games. <laughs> <laughs> they ran the out show, of games. I mean, as far as the showing, like, it was great. They got a lot of games, a lot of, like, interesting stuff. Like, uh, yeah. Babylon's Fall, that's new. Yeah, that's not, um, yeah. The Quiet Man. Like, some of this new stuff. But, wow, 30 minutes. That's 30 like, minutes. That's how you keep it straight into the point. They just, yeah, they really kept it. <laughs> yeah. They, like, no filters, no fi no filler, rather. Not yeah. no filter. <laughs> no filler. Yeah. Nothing that was really, you know, just fluff. They got straight to it, which, you know, we've been asking for that anyway. Yeah. And, but I guess that's how short the show is if we Yeah, don't if, we, get if any. we wanted that. I mean, hey, but if they did that all together, like, like the whole conference, like, it would be way better. You know what I mean? Like, if they did Microsoft that, you know what I'm saying, just played all the games. You know what I mean? Try it. But Microsoft. How, how much better would that have been than this? Microsoft you know like, showed like, us this, many of those, like, though. This way, like, they, if, if Microsoft had did it, like, uh, Square, Square Enix, it would have been, it would have been just as good. Yeah, I know. It just, mm. It would have been just as good, right? I'm in shock. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just taken back. I feel like none of us were prepared for them to be back. Like, for them to be. <laughs> so short. Like. Done. Yo, like, um, I wasn't, yeah, I don't I wasn't even, mentally prepared. That was like a Nintendo Direct. That was oh, not yeah. really. <laughs> and I think more companies can go <laughs> towards that direction where they just do like direct yeah. releases, like at whatever schedule they feel like works for them. Oh man. Um, I might have to break. What a weird, weird I do time. still have Monster Hunter World. But oh, I yeah. have not gotten far in it though, so. I would like to play these things, but I'm just, you know, the whole lifestyle game thing, I've already missed a few updates. I'm not sure if I can keep on playing it yeah. or if when these events happen and these new things, this new content drops, and I never know if I can play it or not because... Yeah. <laughs> you probably have to be at a ridiculous level. Yeah. yeah. Well, not even ridiculous, it's a realistic level. It's probably like, they probably base it on you paying like 20 hours a week of that game. I could always jump in and just like fire a flare like I always do anyway. Just like, I'll drop in and then I'll hunt the monster, I'll find the monster and then go, oh, this monster's too hard, better fire a flare. Pew. Then a bunch of Asian dudes will come in and kill the monster for me. <laughs> And then you That's get that. how you play Monster Hunter when you're under level. When you're under level. Don't play yeah. it. Yeah, pretty much. I just help. It's like, okay, yeah. you guys go you guys take care of this. I'll be here. I'll occasionally fight it, you know. Because I'm Keep a dual distance. blade, so I no, no, I'm not a ranged oh. character. I'm actually a dual blade. So, so I get up close you... and fight. Okay. And okay. then I just run when I get hurt. Because okay. it's like this thing you do, like if you stay really close to most of these monsters. They can't get you because a lot of them have ranged attacks. So, like, if you're just wailing on them up close and you never let them get away from you, that actually is a solid strategy, at least with those weapons. Which is what I would do. Is like, nope, you're not getting away. Nope, you're not getting away. Nope, you're not getting away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see my friend play that game all the time. It's uh, it's really fun. It looks like it looks great. But when you get friends to jump in, wow, that that's where short. it goes well. Yeah, yeah, it's short. Yeah. <laughs> Can what do you say? what do you say? All right, look, maybe do a little breakdown here, Tomb Raider. So a oh, breakdown. We just did right. it. So <laughs> Tomb Raider was amazing. Babylon's Fall looked amazing. I didn't. We don't know much about Babylon's Fall, do we? It looked no, amazing, but uh, it, it was, was mostly pictures. Yeah, and a lot of CGI, like animate, like the the video, very cinematic. I got like a quarter of a fight, and it got the, yeah, it got it got my attention. You guys, let's it stop. Let's stop to talk about Near for a second. Near. This okay. is the second showing yeah. of a game one. that is so good, people don't realize how good it is. It it's like good. this sleeper hit kind of thing. And like, no, this this game is 
quite good. Exactly. I only have, I reviewed it, I only gave it, people give me shit for this all the time, but the graphics don't look great. And they're like, no, you tell me, they looked amazing. I'm like, some parts looked amazing, but there's also a ton of parts where you have some really bad textures and some really bad game assets that look like they were thrown in at the very last second. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're going to fix that or anything for this one, but well, it's like when you run inside the be issues, these so. buildings that are empty, like there's, a, the, there's the ruins uh, in the first area of the game and there's all these broken down buildings and like they just, uh, the hitbox on a lot of these buildings are weird, like you don't land properly. And, but this is just gripes. This is not like all, everywhere not all like the it. time, but it's noticeable enough. Like when there's, there's a, you know, there's windows and it, every building looks empty. Like there was never anything in it. Like I climb up this one skyscraper and it's just like a fat expanse of nothing. And I'm just running up a staircase. I'm like, this is game design from last generation. But the, the, that's why I gave it a nine out of 10 because besides that, Objectively, the game is not perfect because the graphics could be better, or the design could be better, rather. Other than that, no, the game is perfect and still one of my favorites of all time. Just because the game's a 9 out of 10 doesn't mean I think it's one of the best games ever made, which it is. And that's due large to the story and to the really, ga the really good gameplay. Mm. Uh, so now it's coming to Xbox One. Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll get, get it again. I'll, I'll buy it again. Cause so I have fix the graphics issues. See if the One X is really capable <laughs> of improving the situation that much. Maybe they did. Maybe yeah. but I want the Become as Gods editions also PS4 too. Like maybe. Nah, I don't know. No, I don't think so. I just bought the DLC for it on <laughs> PlayStation Four because it was on sale. Wow. But now. I don't know what the price is going to be for this game either. Like, is it still going to be 60? I mean, a lot of... It was on sale? Much? Were, uh, it, no, the DLC was on sale for like 6. Although the game, uh -huh. now that it was a featured E3 game, might be on sale on the PS4 store for yep. a lot. But for a while. Yeah. Xbox, I, it's going to be whenever it comes out, which I didn't see. You think it's going to be full price? It was, yeah, probably. Uh, I think it's for the release date. Now. I feel like it's coming this fall. It's got to be coming um, soon. But I don't recall. So, wow, that was wow. short. Yeah, Octopath Traveler was just a release date trailer. Anyone who is already going to get that is going to get it. Whoever isn't, isn't. Uh, just Cause 4, it's more Just Cause. It's a ton of, just, it, it's, it's the, it's, it's a sandbox. Like, there's, there is a story, but just do whatever you want kind of deal. This is one of the few games that's really just way more focused on you doing that. Mm. Yeah, I mean... What was, I, what was the other game that we got excited about? There was The Quiet Man. Oh, the... Babylon's Fall. Was it Dragon Quest? Dragon Quest, yeah. Dragon Quest 11. It, no, Dragon games. Quest. And there was Monster Hunter World cross Final Fantasy Oh, 14. yeah. <laughs> that was just silly. That was silly. But yeah. that Dragon Quest trailer looked amazing. Definitely. Are they going to eat in themselves there? Monster Hunter Cross Final Fantasy? It's kind of like, like you pick a side, no? Like you're not buying one game, or is it both? Yeah, that's what game? I don't know. What am I playing it on? Am I playing Final Fantasy You're 14? playing Final Fantasy f um, 14, 14 and, and it has Monster Hunter World content. Are you sure it's not yes. Monster Hunter World? It's yeah, getting see, Final Fantasy saying. 14 that's because with the with the Palico being in there, I felt it would be more like a Monster Hunter World expansion. Yeah. That game's still doing the live service thing, so and that's due for another update. Yeah. Uh, the only one they've had so far is one major update, and then they had Dante. So in I, case you didn't know, they had I know, Dante, I saw they had Dante had. in Monster Hunter. Yeah, in Monster that's Hunter. Crazy. Yeah. I don't. I just can't see why Square would put that on their stage in such prominence if it was them adding stuff to another company's game. So you have to buy the other company's game. I'm pretty sure Square published a no, Monster in the World. Capcom is Monster Hunter. Confidently, Capcom. All right, <laughs> but if we're wrong, we're gonna get a lot of hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I do kind of believe you. That's kind of a Capcom thing. Just the way it yeah. plays. It's, it's their style. It also had Ryu and Chun-Li. 
Yo, I feel like if if, uh, they, if they did it the other way around, it'd be way better anyway. Like the like if they had crossed, you know, uh, Tekken, you know, with uh, Capcom characters, like like I, I like. The we'll way have Capcom to wait for more information to play. find out. But man, I really hope it is. I need another excuse to go back to Monster Hunter World. Not that I have the time for it, but I did a Who basic hints and help video. Uh, barely even me, but I still do it. It's so vibrant. <laughs> It's crazy. There's so many games out there. So many games, so little time. Yeah. Wow. Especially the lifestyle games. You yeah. Because there's ones I really like, but I only have so much time for them. Yeah, man. That's why I like, that's why I like standard games, because you can kind of just pick up and play. Like, even if, you, even if it's campaign, like, it's still really good. You know, you just kind of, like, do one mission. It takes, like, five minutes, ten minutes, you know, and then you're be out the door. Alright, the instant uh, recap is ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and post that to our page. Alright, um, we're going to take five we gotta take this couch, because uh, it's comfortable. But, well, but well, it's not great. Is, the, is, the, is, the, is there still more? Like, is there another? The next one is at three. Oh, you're not even going to be with us. Yeah, yeah I got to go. Yeah. 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 yeah, everyone say bye to Zeke. He's been See a major next. player of the hard mode gamers community. You know it. Wow, that was short. Yeah, yeah I know. Man. We just can't get over how short it was. Yeah. All right, guys. That was Nintendo Direct. Check out Direct. the full recap on <laughs> hardmodegamers.com. Come on, this high Thank you for tuning in and hanging out with us. And uh, peace out. Stay peace safe. out, guys. See ya. Hey, this is Chet from Hard Mode Gamers talking right to you. If you got this far into the video, thank you for watching, and please consider liking and subscribing on this channel here. We have a lot more footage to show you of all of our E3 reactions and shenanigans, so stay tuned. Also, we actually reply to people in the comments section, so if you want to talk to us, feel free. We'll talk to you. Thanks.